Alright YouTube, uh, I told some people I was going to be making a video kind of just showing how I do my shipments, how I package everything, and these are some shipments I'm working on. Um, this one's already shipped out, I shipped it out earlier. Um, what I'm doing is I'm working on this shipment here. There was 169 units in that shipment. So the first thing you want to do is click your work on shipment button. And the uh, page is going to open here. And along the left hand side you're going to see this review and modify units. What you want to do is you want to click on that and you're going to see everything that you've listed in that shipment. You're going to see the condition, how many units there is of each one. This would be the time you would want to add in if you have multiple units for a specific item. Let's say you're selling something new and you got three of the same one, you can actually go in and change it up to, I believe, seven items for each item is what they allow. Um, once you've uh, looked everything over and seen exactly that everything's correct, um, you want to click this button that says print labels for the page. Now if there's more than 100 items, there's going to be multiple pages and you're going to have to print those out. Um, it's actually going to open up a, I think it's a PDF file and then you, it saves it and then you just print it out. Um, what I'm using is I'm using the Avery labels. Um, you can buy these in sheets of 30 and then you just uh, peel those off and stick them right on the item. It'll tell you what the name is of the item and what the condition is so you know you're putting it on the right item. There's different ways to do this depending on what type of printer you're using. Um, but that's the way I do it. And uh, here are some of the items I listed. Uh, there's books, DVDs, Blu-rays, puzzles, video games. There's some loose video games over here. And some more books. I'll be showing those later. But um, people always ask, how do you package this stuff? Well... One of the first things I did is I got some poly bags. Um, I wanted my stuff to be protected. I want the label to be protected and the item to not get dusty and dirty. So I bought uh, a few different sizes. These ones are your standard uh, jewel case, 10.4 millimeter. They come in bags of 100. I usually order 500 or 1,000 at a time. Same with the DVDs. These are for your standard 10.4 millimeter DVD cases. Any DVD movie, Blu-ray movie, I put Nintendo cartridges in there if they're just regular Nintendo cartridges. Um, and then I get the oversized ones for the bigger DVDs, uh, the box sets, and Snapcase DVDs because they don't like to fit in the standard ones. And then I buy poly bags that fit books, pretty much smaller books. It's uh, They're made for comic books, but you can put all kinds of books in there. And, the bigger, thicker box set DVDs will go in there too because they don't fit in the oversized ones. And then I buy poly bags for just books, um, bigger books. I'm planning on getting a sealer later on where I can just crimp it and just cut it and cut it to fit a lot better. It'll look a lot better and actually save me time and money. So, but right now that's that's your basic supplies that you're going to need if if, if you want to bag your stuff. Some stuff they make you bag, some stuff they don't. I just like to pretty much bag everything. Anything you do bag, you got to get these warning labels. Um, you can print these out yourself. You can buy them online. These are sheets of 30. But I've actually upgraded to the rolls, which uh, you get like 500 in a roll, and you can get a 1,000 of these for about 10 bucks. So they're really not that expensive. Um, and I'm going to show you how I package everything. For instance, on in the, uh, Super Nintendo games, I use the CD poly bags. And uh, I cut out little sheets of paper. Just This is just regular paper. You can use uh, cardstock paper. It's a little thicker. But I'll use like three sheets of paper. I cut it out. And then I'll stick the label on the back. So that way you don't have a sticker on the actual game. And you got a little bit of support in there for the items that you're selling. Uh, such as these Nintendo DS games, they're just loose. So I like to have the paper in the back and then put my label in the back. So that's how I kind of I kind of develop that system for myself. Um, I don't know how other people do it. There's not really a lot of videos on this. So that's why I kind of wanted to make a video to help show some people how you can do this. It's actually pretty easy. Alright, so I got everything bagged up and... The only item I didn't bag or wrap was this game because it's in a hard plastic shell. It's a brand new game. 
all the books. You can see I got in bags and I got the warning labels on everything. Anything that's sold as a set you want to put on there. Sold as a set, do not separate. Um, I have stickers on the way, but I actually just made those up myself. And yeah, so everything's basically done. Um, I did wrap all the puzzles and whatnot with um, this plastic wrap stuff. And you can buy this stuff in the roll. It's uh, I think this one's like 18 inches wide, and it's just it's like saran wrap. It just wraps around the box, and um, I tape it down where I fold it down at, and I always make sure the label is not covered. It's only covered one time with plastic, so it's not. It's going to be able to be scanned in. You can see another one there, but yeah, games. So that's basically all you do, and then uh, I'm going to weigh everything out and see how much weight I got, because they only want you to put in 50 pounds per box. I probably got more than 50 pounds here because I got some pretty heavy books there. And so I'll probably have it in two boxes, and I'll weigh it out, and then uh, put my labels on there, and I'll show you how I do that. Alright, so I got everything in boxes. Um, kind of split the shipment up in two boxes, making sure that neither box is over 50 pounds. Had about 80 pounds total. Um, I just like to pack everything real tight in there. Make sure you can close your bo boxes good. And uh, if there's any gaps, you can put either boxes in there to fill the gaps. In this case, I'm just going to put some newspaper on the top, and that's about it. And you can use um, bubble wrap. You can use uh, packaged air. They don't want you using packaging peanuts, so do not use those. But uh, I'm going to get these sealed up and show you the next step. Alright, so we've uh, printed our labels out already, and we've labeled everything, bagged everything, put our warning labels on, and our sold as a set stickers on, and everything. Boxed everything up. Um, got both boxes closed, tape closed, and if you scroll down to the next section, it's going to say shipping method, small parcel delivery, Amazon partner, UPS. That's what you want to go with unless you're se uh, sending a, a crate full, um, just individual boxes, and they can be up to 50 pounds. And it's going to ask you uh, what the weight is of the box and what the dimensions are on the box. In this case, I had two boxes, so I just clicked right here where it says add another box and then it opens up another part to put in uh, your second box weight or third or fourth I think I've had three three or four boxes with one shipment um, and then the next thing to do is to calculate shipping and uh, this one weighed 84 pounds between the two boxes what's going on here sorry about that it uh, page needed to be refreshed so I'm going to go back in and calculate shipping and it comes to $26.90 and I believe they just started this where you have to have, you have to agree to the terms, so you hit agree, you accept the charges of the $26.90 and the next step is to print your labels out. So you're going to hit print box labels, there's going to be a file you have to download and once you do that, it's going to pop up on the screen, and it's going to look something like this. And this shipment has two labels, so there's going to be there's two labels for each box. This one has two separate labels, so I'm going to go ahead and print those out. All right, so I got both my labels printed out here, and um, you don't want to put the labels over a seam. You don't want to you don't want to pull one of these maneuvers. I always put them on the side. So I'll put them on like that. They just peel right off. And you can cut up cut them too. Um, make sure the right label goes on the right box. It's going to have the weight and the dimensions on there that you entered in so you know that you're putting it on the right box. And uh, once you do that you just drop your boxes off. Also you want to make sure to complete shipment that's the last thing you do after you print your labels out. And you are done. 
got the boxes all labeled that was a shipment I did earlier but um, that's how you put them on there and drop them off at UPS and you're done or you can have them come pick them up whichever you prefer hope this helped everyone out and uh, if you have any questions leave them comments appreciate you watching